Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again with the best P.E.K.K.A. deck in Clash Royale right now. It is so effective if you can slow roll a P.E.K.K.A., Ram Rider, and Lightning to break through any building. If you hit double or triple Elixir, there's not much that can defend this deck. And it's super solid on defense when you've got Electro Wizard to stun, the Snowball to push things back, the Ram Rider to hold all of your opponent's units in place, while the P.E.K.K.A. deals a ton of damage. This P.E.K.K.A. deck is all around super solid no matter the matchup, so let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance. Thank you to everyone that's using Criticode Cert Tag, making all the daily videos possible. So we got a game here against someone from a toxic nation. Sir, what are you a part of? Are you part of the Fire Nation? Dude, we gotta destroy you. We're the last Avatar right now. I'm gonna be able to snowball, and with my Ice of Justice, we are able to get that one Barbarian hit. We're slapping you, silly, and we're gonna treat you to a cold dessert. That's better than ice cream, bro. That damage was delicious. Maybe we can go in for a Ram Rider here and stop the Inferno Dragon from getting near our tower. With the Baby Dragon locking on... Wait, wait, why is... Why is the tower targeting the Inferno Dragon? I thought for sure the Inferno Dragon hadn't crossed the river in time for the graveyard. He timed that so well. What the heck? Credit where credit is due. I did not expect you to pull off that successful of a graveyard in single elixir. He's going to Valkyrie again, so lots of stuff that he can do right now. Best possibility for me is use my Dark Prince on defense and then catapult a lot of offense afterward. I think that the Dark Prince is going to be my savior here, but it's going to go right into a witch. So I proclaim that a little bit too soon, my dudes. Oh my goodness. It really is a toxic nation. He's got every toxic card in existence. He's got the furnace to spawn skeletons. He's got the graveyard to spawn skeletons right out my tower. And then the fire spirits just for that extra spice. Maybe we can go in for a P.E.K.K.A. and slow roll a huge push in the back. Usually when I can't break through in single elixir, the way that I'm able to win is hit double, build up a huge baby dragon, ram rider, and then lightning on the defensive structure and ranged units. But in this particular situation, I don't know if that's going to happen, right? Like, it's going to be hard because he's got graveyards. So if you play against a graveyard deck, they're immediately able to get on top of the tower where you have to struggle to break through. So I think that Graveyard is going to be the hardest deck for this, for sure. If there was one deck I wouldn't want to be playing against, it would be the Graveyard. Maybe we can go in for a Ram Rider here. He just froze, so you know what? With that out of cycle, there's a chance that we can do the dance. We just need to keep the Electro Wizard alive, and if we snowball on top of the Witch, we can kill it with the Ram Rider. Let's go! Yes, sir! Pushing it away means that the Skeletons have a further pathway to travel to. That was insanely good. We're currently up a lot, and I can bar build to finish off the Witch and go for a Dark Prince here. We gotta kill the Witch so that he doesn't have a tank for the graveyard. Without Freeze and Cycle, that means that the Dark Prince is gonna fully destroy every single Skelly, right? Right? Oh, no! They're, that was really good RNG with the Skeletons. So many of them spawned in the right-hand side, and you're hoping that the Skeletons spawn into the Dark Prince, and you're just like praying. It's like a whole bunch of random number generators, and you're like, please, don't do this to me. And the game's like, no, Skeletons will thrive. It just is what it is. It be how it be. There's a high likelihood that he's going to go in for a freeze, so I don't want to stockpile too much stuff close together. I will Lightning if we get the opportunity to. We're going to have to wait and see if that's the moment for us. Yeah, I definitely want to Lightning here. Able to kill most of his stuff. And then I could Ram Rider afterward, but I believe that he's going to get ambitious. I think he's going to get super frisky and feisty with the graveyard right now. If he does that and he overcommits, that's where we make our mark in our territory. So what I do is I Ram Rider in the back. We'll be able to kill the Skeletons with the Ram Rider and the Dark Prince. We've got double small spells in case he wants to freeze. And that would be huge overextension. Unfortunately, he doesn't do that. I was hoping and praying that he would. We can go for the Barb Barrel here. Oh, wait, if the Barbarian distracts the Witch, let's go. We're going to lock and load. We're going to win against a Graveyard deck. If I can Lightning, this is what I'm talking about. You cannot break through in single. But as soon as your opponent messes up in double, you've got so much power with the Lightning. It will be able to take towers in seconds. And look at that. We're going to have just desserts on the tower, guys. That is pure secondary damage. <laughs> let's go. We are eating so good tonight. Ram Rider is going to break through and finish off the game. Sorry, I didn't even have to snack on him with Lightning. GG, well played, and peace out. Pleasure playing against you and destroying your tower. It's super satisfying destroying a hard matchup like Graveyard right out of the gate. Hey, we got a game here. This guy's fearless. What's up, man? What's happening? I feel like you should fear the Ram Rider. It's one of those cards that is certain in life, right? You have a few things. Life, liberty, and taxes. And then you also end up having the Ram Rider connected to the tower no matter how much elixir you spend. So... It's kind of broken. It's one of those cards that if you can build up a push and double elixir and you have a peck of tanking, obliterate whatever building they have with the lightning, you're able to get a lot of damage. Also, can we just talk about how I ended up dropping my small spell and he immediately goes in for a goblin barrel on me? That is instant bad karma, guys. That's not what we want to see. So against Logbait, as I've said before, it's really important to get to double or triple elixir. I'm going to Ram Rider to shut down the princess. And ooh, yo, that's off to the side. I don't think the Dark Prince is going to see it, though. He was too perplexed and bewildered by the other stuff. 
if I snowball, I should be able to stop most of the goblins that are going to give me issues. The other goblins won't give us hits on the tower, so it doesn't matter. You guys could have hit all the goblins with the snowball, but does that matter? No, because they were going to die anyway. The two that were left alone, they were just going to have a later fate that they had to face. In this particular situation, maybe we can slow roll a pack and double, but in single, it's not going to break through, so there's no point in trying. It's going to try to stay alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Baby dragon in the back, what you going to do? A few princes of the river, we can immediately shut it down with the Electro Wizard. If we're hovering the Electro Wizard, the princess does not get a hit on the tower. But if you don't, then it's always going to get a hit. Just uh, throwing that out, a bit of information. If you don't know, now you know. He's got a Goblin Gang. Wow. You're going to have to Knight here, and then we can Ram Rider on the other side. Or we can just Electro Wizard on top of the Goblins and take no damage again. Okay, I'll take that. We can Barb to finish off the Princess and the Knight. Clean stuff. Yo, wait, the Electro Wizard is still alive at zero HP. You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking me right now. That Electro Wizard saved my butt. He needs an entire trophy case. This man deserves a medal. He won me the game with that one HP. One HP hero. There are gonna be tales. There are gonna be songs written about that Electro Wizard. And I will never forget him. What a beautiful human being. If I Dark Prince, I'm able to shut down the goblins and... Wow, that cascaded so quickly. That's the thing about our deck. One good move on offense, and then the Ram Rider and all the other cards afterward will work wonderfully for you, because it's impossible for him to defend that when he's down Elixir. wonder if he drops something else here that I can Lightning. Or if the Baby Dragon is going to take the targeting from the Inferno Tower. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'll eat the damage. I'll take the damage. And I think the Ram Rider breaks through unless I'm crazy. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Oh, I'm crazy! You are the craziest man I've ever met. Wow, that was bad. That was the worst thing that could have happened to me. Dude, come on now. We just were looking at that. I was, I was watching a movie right in front of me. And I was like, please, please pack a hit. Just hit the tower. I was like, Ram Rider, please hit. And none of them happened. Wait, why, why, why are you barbering there? <laughs> what the dog doing, dude? What you doing with that? I don't understand why you would ever do that, but I love it. I'm like, loving it. We can go in for the Ram Rider here and then Lightning. And I think he's going to rock it again. We'll have to wait and see. Come on now. Lightning on the Inferno Tower. Let me break through. Oh, if the Ram Rider got separated because it went towards the Inferno Tower and then he rocketed, that could have been hilarious. I'm sure that he knew that was a possibility, so he didn't want to get destroyed by that. Smart decision on our opponent's end. He realizes that he has to start going other side. Ooh. Wait, he caught me in a terrible position. Oh my goodness, dude. You're playing so well right now. Credit where credit is due. That was one of the best plays I've seen in forever. Stretching me thin on Elixir. Bro, I had nothing there. I think I have to go Dark Prince and annihilate some of the goblins, and I'm down a lot. I'm down bad. Yo, this game is ridiculously close, and he's BMing me now? I don't know. Or no, is he BMing himself? I, don't, I, I still I don't understand. I'm going to Ram Rider. I'm going to expect him to rock it. We'll have to wait and see if I can uh, get the Dark Prince on the tower. I think the Dark Prince locks on the tower, and I win the game off that, so yeah. Okay, he's a super angry sir. GG, well played, and peace out. As you guys can see, it's impossible to break through in single elixir, but when you hit double, you can start lightning on the Inferno Tower with big P.E.K.K.A. pushes, and then you can actually win the game. I love this P.E.K.K.A. deck over all the other P.E.K.K.A. decks with Zap and Bridge Ban with Battle Ram, because you always lose to Log Bait with those variations, but now we're finally able to conquer Log Bait. Yo, so jumping into this one, we're gonna see what's happening. You guys already know, when we've got P.E.K.K.A., we wanna wait and chill until double elixir. I do not wanna make some big bullstream plays Dropping my peck in the back first play. Because if you do that, you're going to get trounced and obliterated by opposite lane golems, elixir golems, or whatever you name it. That is not the vibe. So if we play against a P.E.K.K.A. counter of like skeletons, 2.6 hog rider, we are not going to be breaking through in single elixir. It's just going to be near impossible. Unless we lightning on top of the cannon and the musketeer, but I bet you he's probably good enough to make sure that that doesn't happen. Wait. Wait. We can ram rider. With the P.E.K.K.A. tanking, there's a chance. We might be able to do the dance, guys. I'm going to go in with it. If I snowball on top of the Musketeer, he might have messed up. Oh, he totally messed up. I told you I would never break through in single elixir, but this is our moment. Nah, still not happening. See, like, even when I get my hopes up, they come crashing down in single. It's just, when you play against a good player, as this guy's clan name says, their defenses are limitless. 2.6 hard grader will not let you break through in single elixir. So you have to build up a huge push in double elixir with a P.E.K.K.A., then go for your Ram Runner, and then Lightning, all in one fell swoop, and then you can break through. But it's not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Ice Golem's out of cycle, so I felt comfortable cycling my Dark Prince here. So then we're going to bait out like a Hog Rider maybe. Yeah, there it is. So if I'm fast enough with my P.E.K.K.A., we do not take a hit from that Hog Rider. Come on now. Give me those reflexes out here. That is why I'm a mobile gaming athlete here. If you guys don't know, now you know. <laughs> I'm going to baby drag in here, and then I'll barb afterward. I wonder if I miss it. Dude, I, I relinquish my mobile gaming title immediately. Like that, 
<laughs> it was so bad. But the ice golem was super high up. I don't know what he was doing there. What are you doing up there? Staying away from you. Huh, that was interesting. Okay, so we can ram rider afterward. The reason why I want to ram rider is if the P.E.K.K.A. kills the cannon. If the P.E.K.K.A. gets on the cannon, then we should be able to break through. Give me the damage, please, sir. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's literally impossible to break through in single elixir. If you don't know, now you know. We have tried every single angle. When the cannon was misplaced, we went in the opposite lane. We went in when he overcommitted elixir and he didn't have a good card cycle to defend. He still was able to stop us. So this is our moment, this is our time, this is our calling. Slow rolling the P.E.K.K.A. and double elixir when we're up a lot of elixir is how we're going to have to make this happen. There is literally no other opportunity to win the game. So we're going to go for Baby Dragon here. I think that the best opportunity is going to be lightning in soon, but... At the same time, I don't want to give him too much fireball value, so I'm going to wait. We're going to Ram Rider on this side. Yes, he, the fireball is definitely going to come down. I sensed it. I told you it was going to happen, didn't I? Now we can go in for another peck at the river, maybe. There's a chance that we do the dance with the peck at the river. If we can just kill the... No, it's not going to kill. We have to go and slow roll a peck again. Just not going to break through. <laughs> when you have to relinquish your peck and say, Sorry, Pekka, we don't care about you anymore. There's nothing more sad than that. Okay, so I haven't overcommitted. We're keeping the elixir advantage here. Maybe I can lightning if he wants to go in for too much spam. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I want a ram rider, but I don't want to give him too much fireball value. As I said before, it's impertinent for me to do that. Oh, that lightning though. Wait, we got him. We did him dirty. That's what I'm talking about. You guys can see the level of excitement when you break through a 2.6 hog rider defense. It is amazing. It's so satisfying to get that damage. Finally, slowly but surely. <laughs> We are whittling him down. He has to fireball on defense. Maybe he's going to go opposite lane into a Dark Prince. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm so excited. Please let me beat 2.6 Tog Rider. This is why we made the deck. I think that original P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band just automatically loses the Hog Rider. But since I have Ram Rider and Snowball, we have multifarious ways of still making it happen. So I can Lightning here, depending on what goes down. I think that might be the better play. But at the exact same moment, I'm looking at it. I'm like, ah, I don't want to anymore. We've got the P.E.K.K.A. counter pushing here. He has to go in for a cannon, so we're going to lightning here. Hit me, hit the cannon. Come on now. Give me the cannon. I don't think it matters. He's going to lose. It's all good. <laughs> we got him. The Electro Wizard is on lock. It is on double duty with the Ram Rider about to get that final hit. The Electro Wizard is still charging up the damage, electrocuting this man like a savage. Yo, don't play with electricity or you're going to get burned, my dude. GG, well played, and peace out. It was a pleasure asserting dominance against 2.6 Hog Rider. If you don't know, now you know. This deck actually can beat 2.6. You just need to get to double or triple elixir, and then you can find your way through by slow rolling P.E.K.K.A.s and keeping up the advantage. Hey, we got a game against Ayush. What is going on, my dude? We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we're going to see what's happening. So first things first, it's really important for me to not play too aggressive. When you've got P.E.K.K.A., Ram Rider, Lightning, you have a huge matchup advantage in Double Elixir when you can Lightning on top of whatever defensive structure or ranged units that your opponent has. All Dark Prince closer. Ooh, I should have dropped it a little bit further back. You know, if I drop it there, my tower is just kind of left out of the equation. She's not able to help us out. Oh my gosh, give me that Lightning. Heck yeah, sir. That's what I'm talking about. I'm able to follow up with a Barb Barrel, and I think that we eliminate the Prince without it charging on my tower. We're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, perfect, perfect stuff. So if it had charged on top of the Barbarian, the Barbarian gets one shot. But since the Barbarian took two individual Prince hits, we are chilling on a different level. So currently, we're up 400 damage on the tower. We figured out that, hey, you probably are going to end up having a double Prince deck. I don't know. Like, that's that's what I'm expecting. Giant double Prince probably, right? So if you play against Giant double Prince and you got P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider with the Lecture Wizard, it's a pretty good matchup. You slow roll your P.E.K.K.A. in the same side as the Giant, and then you make ends meet of whatever they drop. Like, there's no way that they're going to break through. So, maybe we can go for a Dark Prince here. The main thing for me is to not overestimate how much I can defend. So, I need to save the P.E.K.K.A. in every single twist and turn. Otherwise, I get twisted around, and it's not a good time. What are we going to do? Maybe I Ram Rider in left-hand lane, because it seems like one of his better answers to us is out of cycle. And I can still afford a defensive P.E.K.K.A. in the nick of time. What are you going to do, my dude? If you have Electro Wizard, we Lightning. Ah, you're dropping it so far off that I can't. Dude, why you got to do that? Why got to be smart? Why can't you be a potato? Oh, we still get the hit. No way. I didn't know that interaction. I, I rolled the dice and it came out very lucky. Not only do I get the Ram Rider hit on the tower, but I also get the Barbarian to finish off the Electro Wizard and 
clamp down on the tower as well. So he obviously knows that I've got Pekka at this point. There's no way that he doesn't know. I can't elect a wizard here because there's a chance that he would get really good value. Wonder if we're able to stop it. It doesn't look like it, so I just have to Pekka. Wonder if the Pekka's going to be able to kill the miner. All right. All right. Okay. I see what you're doing here. I don't appreciate it. You will be able to kill my Electro Wizard. The Pekka gives us some type of counter push, but it's not the best thing in the world. There is no winning with you. If I Dark Prince at the right-hand lane, we're going to force out a lot of Elixir from our opponent. Then we can go for a Ram Rider Bar Barrel. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I don't even need a Bar Barrel. I could Lightning here, or I could just let the Ram Rider connect to the tower, and that's a lot better. Oh, wow, you played that well. Dude, I was not expecting that. Please, please, please target the Prince Priest. No, dude, why didn't you target? Oh, you did target the Prince. It just took you forever. Okay, so I can peck at the river right now because I'm going to be up a bit of elixir and a bit of uh, counter pressure right now with the P.E.K.K.A. and Electro Wizard would not be the worst thing in the world. Especially if I lightning on all the units. Yo, if I lightning on the units, the P.E.K.K.A. goes straight towards the tower and I win the game. 100% right now. There's no way for you to stop this anymore. You don't have Electro Wizard in cycle. The Electro Wizard of ours is going to be able to stop your tower, stun everything to pieces, and I can shake and bake with the snowball on top of the tower and the Ram Rider. All I have to do is make sure that I get one more Ram Rider hit and then I lightning you out. GG, my dude. As long as I can get a snowball and a lightning, I think that's going to be enough. Um, I'm going to go in for a Dark Prince afterward. He's going to all in. He has to. He has to giant. What are you doing, dude? Why aren't you giant to me on the right-hand side? You crazy person. You wild child. I'm on vacation. I'm going to lightning instead of going for a rare miter. It's just a lot better that way. And we snowball him out. GG, well played and a pleasure playing against you, sir. As you guys can see, this is why Pekka is super solid. If you play against a Giant, an Elixir Golem, a beatdown deck with Golem, you automatically hard counter them, especially Electro Giant, and there's no way that they can ever break through. Because he was so afraid of the Pekka, he was not able to drop his win condition once. And after that win, we are at 9,000 in the world. All right, we're into another one. So after demolishing that Giant player, I feel like I'm just set up for success. Maybe we can go for a Pekka if you decide to go spam the river. We've also got Dark Prince to cycle in the back. But generally, this deck is better in double or triple elixir, so I'm just going to chill. Aww. Hello, how are you? Right when I say that, you animal. Why do you go and cycle a Valkyrie in such a peculiar timing? You're like waiting until the pristine 2.30 moment. You're like, hey, you know, start of the game, that's not me. Double elixir, that's not me. I'm different. I got to be different with my Valkyrie timings. If we Electro Wizard, I think that would be the better opportunity. We're going to stun his Electro Wizard. We're going to be able to win the battle at the river quite convincingly. And if you've got any air units, we'll slap them silly. Yo, dude, you Lightning and you Electro Wizard. How are you supposed to stop the Ram Rider right now? I don't think there's a chance. I literally think that there's no chance for him to defend this anymore. He cycled his best answers, and we're going to take full advantage of that. I'm going to Snowball. Oh, dude, I forgot that Night Witch doesn't spawn bats after she dies. <laughs> Doesn't matter, guys. Even if we're living on the past, his tower is a thing of the past, too. It is gone. Sayonara, sir. We have already won this game. When you take a tower early on and he says good game, there is no way for him to come back because he's going to be spamming into Electro Wizard Pekka, and no one wants to play against that. So as you guys can see, that was pretty much a free win. And whenever you play against an Electro Giant or Golem deck, there's no way that you can lose unless you throw the game. And that's what I'm talking about. 7,600 in the world. Like, subscribe, and have an awesome rest of your day.